Hello, this is Tommy the Beer Whisperer, and I am here with a Sam Adams Black Lager. Let me pour this baby for you. Uh, Black Lager. I wanted to do a back-to-back -back with this win. Uh, actually, I didn't know I had it, but I wish I'd have had it to do a back-to-back a -back with the back-to-back. -back. Uh, double Blind Black Lager. That was a 6%. This one's about 4.9. Uh, Sam Adams, what are you going to say? Um, you know, my issue with Sam Adams is not that they're bad. My issue with Sam Adams is that, that they're <laughs> mediocre. Um, almost nothing I've ever had from them has been terrible. Almost everything's pretty good. But very few things have blown my socks off. Uh, and my big problem is, it's not that the, the it's not the ABV, it's not that it's 4.9, it, it, it's, it's just that, you know, I would have an Imperial Series and they're knocking out some larger brews, so don't write me letters. I'm just saying that within specific styles, they're even lighter than their other craft counterparts. This could be more memorable. They just made it. I mean, it's there, it's a black lager, but there's nothing special about it. Now that, that 6% double blind was beautiful man had big notes so, I mean big roasted barley coming at you but it had the right mouthfeel too it wasn't heavy it wasn't a stout it was a lager and that's what you want that's what they could have did they missed now is this terrible now I'm gonna drink the darn thing don't get me wrong but it could have been better now <laughs> let me tell you a funny story see this hair now, most of you know I cut my hair uh, for Seamus uh, for his leukemia, although he hasn't officially lost his hair. Uh, apparently, I did, though. This was an accident. I was trimming around the edges here, you know, uh, and I have Tourette's. <laughs> most of you know that. Some of you don't. Now, y'all do. But I sometimes my mind daydreams because I'm old and my mind wanders. Anyway, I was holding my razor about like this in my hand. And I'm taking my hand twist and went, Choo! and I took out a chunk about like that, right? Just a bald spot right there. So rather than being a smart man and putting a hat over my head and going to the barber, I decided to shave it off, much to my wife's chagrin. She's not real happy with me at the moment, so I'm hoping it grows back fairly quickly because I'm probably not going to get lucky until it does. So anyway, I'm going to finish this beer. I'm going to dancing Buddha here. And let you all get about your business. <laughs> This is the Beer Whisperer. This is a bald head. This is a okay beer. I hope you're having a great evening. Beer Whisperer's got to go.